Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil and TireRack.com. As automakers launch more and more electric vehicles, folks eager to reduce their carbon footprint might think that ditching their current car and buying new is the only option. But our over-the-edge guy, Greg Carlos, has found another way of plugging into the EV movement. Whether it's stereos or turbos, the automotive aftermarket has conversion kits for just about everything. But what if you want to turn your gas guzzler into an EV? Well, here at Amp Revolt in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, they specialize in clean conversions. 12 years ago, Brandon Hollinger was just a musician driving a gas-powered car to and from gigs. So I was looking for alternatives to the to the basic uh, internal combustion engines and diesel engines that we were you know, forced to use, basically. So Brandon decided to convert to electric, and with two Saab 96s and zero automotive background, Brandon went where everyone goes for expertise, the internet. I started, I stumbled upon some very key YouTube videos, and after about six months of research and about three months of building, I was driving to work every day reliably. 95,000 electric miles later, the Saab now sits in front of Ampervolt's downtown garage where Brandon and project manager Greg Hunt convert customer cars like this 96 BMW 3 Series. Some of these vehicles that have this lower power like this are are really great because you can get them around town. You sort of you already had the vehicle, and you kind of it's like going to have its second life now. So we were approached by a young fella to do an electric van for him. And it, but as a solar educator, he was adamant about having solar involved. Using these rooftop panels, this soon-to-be camper can actually charge itself, providing about 150 to 180 miles of driving range. But they added DC fast charging capability for a rainy day. In their conversions, Ampervolt has begun using components salvaged from OEMs like Tesla, but repackaging the batteries presents a problem, so they designed and patented their own battery box. They slide in like drawers and there are features in there that allow you to build up and also build out. They can even mount to a wall for stylish in-home power storage. Speaking of style, Brandon has his award-winning Austin FX4 London taxi charged and ready to roll. Sure, it doesn't offer the smooth ride, sharp handling, or even borderline unnecessary acceleration of the latest EVs, but it still achieves the same goal, zero driving emissions. Going with electric vehicle is a start, but going with electric vehicle that doesn't rely on anything new to be built or minimal new parts is even better. Combining the two vehicles seems to be, without a doubt, the most conscious thing you could possibly do.